Hey everyone, my name is Steven and welcome back to the Storytime channel. Without wasting any time, let's get into our stories of the day. I snapped on a Karen. Recently found me a new job that I really enjoy. I worked both my old job at the restaurant and my new one for a while till I was able to fully start the new job. It's been a couple weeks since I quit the restaurant and I went in to pick up my last check. They are doing to-go orders only, like a lot of places are doing right now. I went up to the cashier station and my friend was the only person working and one cook, so I just started talking to her about what's been going on in my new job and stuff while she got my check from under the counter. The kitchen yelled, order up, that echoed through the whole empty restaurant, so she went to grab the order and I stayed at the front waiting for her to come back. I was standing next to the cashier stand, not behind it. A car pulled up and parked in front of the restaurant in a handicapped spot, and I noticed they didn't have any stickers to park there. I recognized the lady from when I used to work there. She's a total Karen idiot that every single person working here hated her. She always had many complaints and almost never tipped. She would come in with a group of two to three more Karens and run the waitress around for two hours and then not tip. She even made a new girl cry one day. So I started to walk to the back to get my friend and so Karen wouldn't say anything to me, but she obviously recognized me from I work there. Some of this is paraphrased because I was so angry I don't exactly remember word for word. Karen screaming red in the face, I want a refund, I'm so fed up with y'all not knowing how to do your job. Let me get you someone to help. No, you will give me my money back right this second. I'm never coming back here again. That girl says she checked the order, but it's wrong. I was here a few minutes ago and ordered grilled catfish and there's no tartar sauce in it. How am I supposed to eat fish with no tartar sauce? And I never got the Dr. Pepper I paid for. She looked like she's about to explode with anger. I was starting to feel angry too. And I drove here twice already. I want money for the gas I wasted. Okay, just let me go get someone to help you. I will admit I said it in a snappy way. I do not appreciate anyone talking to me like that. She noticed and immediately started cussing me out and my friend came out from the back asking what happened. Karen starts yelling at her and I went to the back. I quickly asked the cook for a tartar sauce while I made a Dr. Pepper. I then walked back up to Karen. She was still demanding a refund and $50 for gas. There's no way she used $50 of gas. She's insulting my friend and saying I was rude to her. I just want to say that what I'm about to do, some of you might think is wrong, but after working years in customer service and having to put up with little poops like her, I saw this as once in a lifetime opportunity to finally give them a taste of their own medicine. I mean, what are they going to do? Fire me? I don't work there anymore. Nobody here freaking likes you. You are the biggest piece of poop I have ever met. She looked at me wide-eyed, frozen in shock. You really freaking think it's okay to just come here and not tip and then treat everyone like they are worthless? Why are you like this? Always such a nasty attitude. Thinking you're better than everyone? I'm sorry your life is so freaking miserable that you constantly have to put others down. You are a freaking idiot. Here's your stuff so you can shove it up your butt. I set the tartar sauce and the drink on the counter. Not going to lie, I really thought about throwing it at her. Then I just walked out with my check before she could say a word to me. Although I think she was stunned silent. No one probably has ever talked to her narcissistic butt like that before. I went home and started telling my boyfriend about it and before I could get a few sentences out, the owner of the store is calling me. He wanted me to apologize and I said no freaking way. So now I'm forever banned from going back there. My friend said that Karen threw the biggest fit after I left screaming for the manager and the owner and she almost called the police. Really happy I didn't throw that drink at her now. I did feel bad for leaving her with that mess, but she said she was thoroughly entertained by this situation. And she wishes she could have cussed her out too. I really wish I said more to Karen because on my way home I thought of all kinds of stuff I could have said. I think this has been building in me for a while and I finally snapped. Honestly, I do not regret a single word I said to her. Let me ask you guys this. If you're in this situation, you know there's no holds barred as you don't work there anymore, and this Karen comes in barging, yelling, and saying these nasty things, what would be the first thing that you do? Let me know what you would do in the comments below. 
Ant's family thinks I'm a stupid park worker. So I just got my wisdoms pulled and I needed to relax. My mom decided the best way was forcing me to a wedding. Yay. Didn't have to dress fancy, but my face was still swollen and couldn't talk right. Think Chubby Webbers if you need a reference. My attire was tan pants, green shirt. Grove Street f- I like earth tones, so it kind of looked like a ranger uniform. So we get there, and sister is her planner. Starts ordering me to sit out chairs, didn't even know I was a guest. I heard her go, God, we got that guy? I'm thinking, what does that mean? So wedding goes through. Ironically, Aunt's name is Karen. Yes, she's a psycho. I'll save her stories for another time. Anyway, Aunt's Karen's sister walks up. Cook didn't show. Can your kind cook? I'm like, yeah, sure, but what do you mean your kind? She heard mumbles, pretty much. I'm cooking burgers and she runs up with a camera. Smile, I'll let your boss know you're such an amazing helper. Idiot, what? I said, but she heard, Bro? My mom walks up. Rolo, I'm glad you're helping. Here's your Vicodin. She asked my mom who I was. Oh, that's my son Rolo. He had his teeth pulled. He seems kind of angry. Might be the Vicodin. She looks, sees me, and hears me go, Uncle Bob, to protect his name. I ice my face and I can talk a little more normal. Karen's sister walks up. I am so sorry, whispers. I thought you were, you know, a disabled employee. I glare at her. I'm the groom's goddamn nephew. I thought I'd be kind helping my family, but clearly you think I'm a stupid employee. She went red. Don't tell Karen and Bob, they will make fun of me. She handed me five dollars. The freak is this? She goes, you're paid for the day. I looked at her. I'm family, not an employee. Stop this stuff. You would think they would check with them or maybe realize, you know, they're family. I guess they don't see each other very often. Crazy lady wants me to pump gas at a station that doesn't do that. So I play D&D every other Friday at my dad's friend's house. Before me and my dad get there, we stop at a gas station to get drinks and snacks. One day, my dad went to the bathroom while I got drinks and waited for him to get out. My arms were full of coke, Fanta, and various snacks when I heard someone clear her throat. Just for your information, I'm 16 and was wearing a hoodie and jeans. While the uniform is a black polo shirt with the gas station logo and khakis. She said, Hey, I need you to go put gas in my car now. I'm already running late. The gas station doesn't have the thing where the employee puts gas in cars. I'm sorry, ma'am, but station name doesn't have that service. Also, I don't work here. Bull, I see you here every other week so I know for a fact that you work here. Yeah, I'm here to pick up drinks and snacks for D&D. That's it. No, you work here. Now do what I say or I will get you fired. Then she slapped the stuff out of my arms. At this point, an employee at the station walks up and asks what's going on. This idiot won't put gas in my freaking car. Miss, we don't have that service. Also, this kid doesn't work here. By now, the crazy lady got really mad and just stormed out of the station and left. I picked up the stuff I dropped and traded out the drinks for some that weren't shaken up. Then, when my dad got back, the employee gave us a discount and we left. I think the thing that frustrates me is she didn't accept her error at all and just kind of walked away. You kind of wish there would be some kind of juicy, satisfying ending where she gets all red in the face or flushed and, oh, oh my gosh, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Sadly, not this time. Oh, no, I do understand you. I am staying over at my mom's during this virus and after some time, I wanted some soda and she insisted to going food shopping and I tagged along. At the grocery store, my mom tells me to pick out what sodas I want while she grabs bread in another aisle. Some of my favorites were out, so I wasn't as quick as I usually am. Then, this lady walks up looking right at me. This should be a good time to mention that I'm wearing dark blue jeans, a I want to say swamp green t-shirt with a smiling jack skeleton on the front, and a black bandana around my face since I didn't have a mask. Moving on to the story. The lady says, bags of brown rice, do you understand? Me? N no. I understood what she said, but I didn't understand what she meant. The lady says, you don't understand? I think she's wondering what to say now. Me, now realizing she wants to find the rice, I lower my bandana hoping to sound clear. 
No, I understand what you said. I just don't know where that is. Sorry. The lady says, Oh, I am so sorry. I thought you worked here. Me chuckling. It's okay. The lady quickly exits the aisle and talks to an actual employee. This was funny to me because not only did she think I was an employee, but she might have thought I was Latino. I'm a tan white guy. So, just because OP was wearing a bandana, they assumed they might be Latino, and because of that, tried to cover bases as if they didn't know proper English? I don't know about that one. I don't know where it is. Okay, so this is my first time making a real post, so bear with me. This isn't a huge incident, but I found it kind of funny and kind of scary at the same time. I was at Walmart around midnight looking at makeup, wearing sweatpants, my work shirt, and a jacket for a local gym. I guess I looked like I was stocking shelves. As I was kneeling on the floor, with a few products in my hand looking on the bottom shelf, this man and his young son come up to me and ask where the deodorant is. Excuse me, ma'am, do you know where the boy's deodorant is? Me only having a vague idea, gestures in the general direction. It's over there somewhere, I'm not sure. Man, taking a step towards me, plus getting a bit angry and aggressive. What do you mean you're not sure? Me, getting up and taking a step back. I don't wear men's deodorant, so I don't know where it is. Man, realizing his mistake. Oh, you don't work here. He then proceeded to basically drag his kid away. Well, I try to process what just happened. Funny plus a little scary in the moment. Funny and sad in hindsight. I just don't understand why people need to get so needlessly aggressive. Even if this was an employee. Like, why do you need to ask? And if they're not sure, start taking a step towards them. Getting a little angry or aggressive. What's the problem? And why are you going to drag your kid around like that? But I digress. With that being said, that's all the stories we have for today. So what I want to know is which of these stories was your personal favorite and why? Let me know which of these stories piqued your own personal interest the most in the comments below. And thank you all so much for watching and listening to the Storytime channel. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and don't forget to turn the notifications on so you'll never miss an upcoming video. Thank you all again for watching and listening to the Storytime channel.